Hello everyone. I hope you have tried assignment 12 yourself honestly and if you have faced any difficulty I am here to give you a solution in this video. So let's get started. So let us uh, read the problem statement once again. So it is saying me that uh, making just make a list using range function uh, that have the values of 5, 10, 15, 20 and up to 30 and store this list as a variable in the variable s underscore water. Great. So I am storing it under s great underscore w that is saturation of water and I have to uh, get the values of 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 using a range function. So what I have to do is I have to create a list. So I'll write list and then I'll write range function R A N G E and my list is starting from 5. It is ending at 30. I'll write here 35 and I'll write here step of 5. It is going with the step of 5. So after 5 it will go to 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It will not include 35 because that in the in this range function stop argument is never included great so if i print my sw i'll see i have the desired list great so the first step of the problem is uh, done beautifully good now given that the saturation of gas is 10 percent so i have the saturation of water at different uh, of in different scenarios and I have the initial saturation of gas as well. So I have to just calculate the saturation of oil, uh, which is very simple. You all know that one minus saturation of water minus saturation of gas will be equals to saturation of oil because saturation of oil plus saturation of gas plus saturation of water is equal to one in ideal scenarios. Now we, we just have to make the list of the saturation of oil. So whenever we have to make a list, whenever we have to make a list, we have to create an empty list and we have to make a function. I mean, we have to make the list using a function. So let's go. Let's start with the uh, let's start with a function. Let's say I have defined I, my function name is uh, saturation of oil saturation. oil is my function name this will take a, a list of water saturation let's say my this list is a and now i have to create an empty list so my empty list let's say is mm, s underscore o in which i will store my values of oil saturation now i'll run a loop for i in a so i'll i'll run a loop in this list of saturation water and i know that uh, I have to append there as O. I have, what I have to append is now what I have to append is saturation of oil, correct? And that saturation of oil will be nothing but one minus I minus point one zero. Why point one zero? Because saturation of gas is given as point one zero here. Ten percent, which means point one zero. Just a second. I'll write here hundred only. A 10 only because that uh, value of a means value of saturation of water is also given in percentage so i'll take everyone in percentage so instead of one i'll write here 100 so 100 minus i i will be saturation of water from the list of a and 10 is the saturation of uh, gas great and exit the for loop and what my function will return me it will return me s o this value so i have defined my function now i have I, I want to check my results so my function name is saturation underscore oil and inside this i have to enter a list my list is a that that represents the saturation of water i have the list of saturation of water that is s underscore w which i have already made this side so now if i run this function you see i am getting the value of uh, oil saturation at each saturation of water so for 5 means 5 is the water saturation and 10 is the gas saturation means 15 so 100 minus 15 it becomes 85 and in this case let's say check for 30 so 30 uh, water plus 10 gas becomes 40 so my saturation of oil should be 60 and it is coming there as well so this is how you have to do this uh, problems uh, now i have another assignment that is assignment number 13 for you in this assignment what you have to do is 
you have uh, i have given you a list which have different mud densities weight in ppg what you have to do is you just have to create filter them into two list uh, that is in one list you will uh, include all the mud weight that is that are less than 10 and in other list you will include all the mud weight which are greater than 10 try by yourself first if you are not able to get it then see the next video because in next video i am going to provide the solution of this assignment so i'll see you there uh, thank you for joining